Okay, so in the last week or so, Canva came out with a really great update, which is their Canva Sheets. And the only reason that I really like it is because you can do multiple designs using Bulk Create in it. So what I've done here is I've created my own little product plan in here, but the product plan is actually just for mock-ups. So as you can see here, I've got my product code. I've got my, a link to my original file in case I need it. I have a headline, which is what I'm going to have as the title on my mock-up. The niche, because you'll see in a minute on my mock-up, I actually have underneath the title who it's for. The total pages, because I do have a little bit on the mock-up that says the total number of pages included. And then I have five product images because I don't like to share more than five product images, no matter how many are in that bundle, um, because I don't want people to copy my product. And then I have my finished file template link. So I'm going to show you exactly how I would use this to create mock-ups. So you do need to have your mock-up done first. So you want to have your 10 mock-ups that you're going to be using for Etsy already created, and then we can insert these images into it. So the first thing that you need to do is then just highlight the whole section that you want to use. So I'm going from headline all the way across to product number five. And I've got, I think, 11 products in here. Oh no, we've got more than that. We've got 15 products in here. So what I need to do is now that I've got that selected, I just go up the top here to actions. And then I just type in bulk and you'll see bulk create, a, it appears here. Now this is a pro feature, you can see by the crown. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to use this, but a really great reason why you need Canva Pro. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this. It's now saying that's the selected range, which is correct. We're gonna hit continue. And we're going to set up a template. So this is the mock-up that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to click on that. And you see how it automatically added it along the bottom here in this, um, in this product plan. And now it's come over here and it's got connect your data to your template. So what we're going to do is we're going to be mapping this information. So you can see here, if I click on the title and I right click on it, I can connect data and I just select headline. And now that's mapped the headline. You can see here I've got the niche, so I'm just going to right click, connect data, and I'm gonna put the niche there. Then the total pages I've got down here, so we can actually click on that. You can see it's grouped, but just make sure that you get the right one. So then I'm just gonna right click on that and hit connect and put the total pages there. And then I've got the product images that I still need to map out, so I'm gonna go here and click on this one first and this is always going to be my first product image that's the main one and then I'm going to go the same here connect with product two and product image three okay and then I'm going to go through and do the same thing on these ones so I'm just going to randomly select some pages and so maybe we go page two there because we've already shown that in a bit of detail and then product th image three and then on then on this page, let's connect three and maybe connect number four there. Then in this one, we're going to connect a couple of the pages. So maybe we start with the last one and we come back that way. Now you only need to do this the once. It's going to remember all of this. So we've got one more image to do. And let's say we do the last page coming out there. Now the other mock-ups that I have are just standard ones. They don't change, so we don't need to update those. So now all we need to do to create all 14 of these mock-ups is just hit create 14 designs. And that's it. Now what it's going to do is it's created another column here. You can see here it's added all the designs. We can now click on this view in folder. And you can see all of the mock-ups actually here. Now it, you can see the, um, the product plan at the front, but that disappears when you open it. So if we go to the first one, you'll see it's just the actual product. And so it's updated everything. And so you can go through and make any just final little tweaks, like maybe positioning that more in the middle there. Just going through and making sure that everything looks good. 
This one that comes out of a printer tends to move, so I tend to just have to adjust that back up. And that's it. And so then you can go through and change the name. So for me, because I want to use this with my other automation, I'm just going to be changing the product code. So I would go through and I would actually, before I download this, I would go through and I would rename all of these with um, a file name so that I can quickly just throw these into my Google Drive and it's going to add them to my um, product plan that is automated for the Etsy listing. So that's what I would do. I would just go through and I would just rename them like that and then I would download it and I'll just do this with all of them. So you just download it. It's going to come up as a zip file. We're then going to extract them just same as we normally would for mockups. And you can see here, and we're just going to hit extract all. But you can see where I changed those um, product codes. So then it automatically has those on there. So for those of you that have already watched my Etsy automated listing video, you'd know exactly why I'm doing that. It's because I can then just drag these straight into my Google Drive folder and these will automatically populate on my Etsy listing product plan ready to put into my store. So that's really simple. It's sped up the actual mock-up process quite a bit. So it's definitely something worth looking at if you are creating a lot of mock-ups for products. And I'll show you the best part about it is that now that we have done these, if we were to create another listing, so if we come back here, if we were to create another listing, um, all we need to do, so let's just, I'm just going to copy this one down just so I can show you as an example. So now that we have this one here, all we need to do, if we want to do the same process again, is we just select that one line and we can do that. Now, the difficulty here is it likes to have the header. So what you really need to do is um, add a sort, like a, a, a status. So I'm just going to do that here and I'll show you. So if I add a status here, um, we can use that as a drop down. And then we could say um, mockup created. Um, and we could say not started something like that. Uh, change all. Okay, and then we can sort it. So what we can do is we can say mockup created and we can just mark those ones off. Oops, we just want to go to there. And then this one we want to say not started. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sort this. So if we right click and go sort, Okay, and now it's at the top. So now all we need to do is we can just highlight this one. So it's going to be from headline all the way across to the product image again. And then all we need to do is go up to actions, bulk create, hit continue. Now you can see here it says currently open. This is the one we want to select because we've already mapped everything out and set it up. So now that's all ready to go. And all we have to do is create one design. So we just do that. And we can view that one in the folder. And that one's done. So it makes it really smooth. So if you're doing a lot of them, um, you can go back and just use it over and over and over again. So I hope that this helps you and speeds up your process. I think that it's a game changer for mock-ups. I think it's going to do really, really well. Um, it's going to help a lot of us out. So I hope that that helps you. Again, I would just go through and have like a product code, headline, whatever you're going to have on that main front page of your um, 
mock-up that you want to map, make sure you've just got sections for those so that you can update the writing in there and map it and then have your product images and then just go through and just as I showed you, connect the data up and you are good to go. So yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Let me know what you think. I think it's going to be awesome. And if you pair it with my Etsy listing tool, it's going to be even more amazing. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do check that out. I will actually leave that video as the very next one for you to watch as well.